That did go out, Rob. Did it? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> With the skipper, Callum Reynolds. Uh, sorry to pull you after that, but it's definitely a good job for the skipper tonight. After a really, really decent run we've been on, um, just about everything that could go against us has gone against us tonight. Just try and sum up how you and the lads are feeling after that and uh, your thoughts on tonight's uh, performance. Probably like most other people here tonight, just disappointed, um, especially with the record we've had at home um, and the way that we start games at home. Um, and they were, obviously, they got the two early goals, um, which kind of stunned us a bit for saying that. We had a chance, hit the crossbar at 2-0, 2-1, uh, changes things. But I think this, this, we didn't start well enough. Um, two quick goals. Um, and we weren't good enough in possession either. We left ourselves a bit open and didn't get to grips with their shape quick enough. And then, yeah, the game was sort of done by half time. So, the second half was just that much limitation. Yeah. Let yeah. me just go back to the start of the game. I, I, it's quite bizarre. I can't remember seeing anything like it. I, I think we had kickoff, and then that was pretty much the only time we had the ball for about four or five minutes. And they started really well. Week in, week out, you see a bit of a frenetic start to games and people trying to get a football. But frankly, we just couldn't get hold of the ball. And we have to give credit to Forest Green for, for an outstanding start, to be fair. Yeah, of course. They were, they were good with the ball. Yeah. But where, where we weren't good with the ball, we were giving away as well. In our half, in the middle of the pitch, where they're strong. Um, so, kind of played into their hands. But then, I can say, yeah, give, give a bit of credit to them. And the way they set up. Um, they, they obviously wanted to do that with the bodies in there. Um, but again, we need, we need to be better with the ball. And when things are frantic and it's high tempo, you need a cool head and just to get your foot on the ball. You can slow the game down with a free kick, something like that. Um, but yeah, like you said, almost didn't even get a chance to do that, and it's two goals down. As you say, the second half becomes a little bit almost of a training exercise for both teams, really. Damage limitation from our point of view, and Forest Green probably just playing a little bit more at a counter and conserving their energy for, for Saturday. But um, one of the things we discussed on, on, on air at half-time was, was um, about where you go in that situation. And uh, I said there has been you know, a lot of talk about how together our squad is, you know, how, how they battle for each other and everything else. And that was a true test there of character second half. And uh, as you say, you must be, must be proud of the way the lads stuck together in the second half and kept the clean sheet. Yeah, of course, like, like, the game was done at half time mm. and the gaffer just said it's damage limitation. He said, I don't care if it's boring, and obviously, great support from all our fans, um, which is appreciated, especially in tough situations. And yeah, sorry if it didn't look great, but you don't want to come up here losing five and six at home, especially. I mean, cause bad enough. Um, but yeah, when you're in that situation, down to the 10 men as well, I mean, look, we could go and try and maybe get a goal, and then. If we get here on the counter, I can see it again. It's just, yeah, so it was just damage limitations. Had to be professional. It's boring, didn't look great, but we just got to move on from it then. Yeah, I'd have to say, mention to the fans tonight because A, they stuck with the team, and B, finally they decided it was tonight, the night that we're going to come out. I think, you know, just over 2,000 shots fans, and uh, I guess all we can really do to encourage them is let's say, look, you know, look, judge us over the season so far and not just one night. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the sport has been great, home and away, mm. and it makes a big difference. And uh, I've been in situations where, not even losing games, but drawing at home in front of big crowds and you're getting on your back, and it doesn't help, but they've got every right to. Obviously, they're paid to come and watch us. Um, but because of home record as well, this has been good. Uh, first loss of the season, um, from what people have said last season, obviously, it's a bit of an improvement. Um, but we set, we set up standards high. And we have to look forward now to Saturday. We have to look at a big game. I hope they done well with them tonight as well. So it's not going to be easy, especially against a newly promoted team. Um, but yeah, we're going to go back to doing what we do well. Um, and attack Saturday, you know, try and get the three points. Just, I, I, I don't think we'll, we'll particularly discuss the refereeing performance. The crowd certainly made their feelings clear on, on that. Um, but I have to ask you, you know, you've lost your, your defensive uh, colleague tonight early on in the game. And, uh, you know, I, I do have to ask him, from that point of view, have you any idea what happened there? Because a lot of people were scratching their head a bit as to why we were sent off. Yeah, I mean, I turn around, the guy's on the floor shouting. The ref hasn't seen it. I see him looking across to his line and I just hear him say red card. 
Um, Lars has said he's kicked him. Will said he ain't kicked him. The guy's kind of running across him as he's turned. But yeah, I don't know how much contact there is. Um, but again, in football, there are things you can't give the ref the opportunity to send you off. Mm. And you can't control the ref, so you can't. All right, it, wasn't, it doesn't matter about too much, it's gone. Mm. Um, but you can't control the ref again. So we need to obviously learn from it. Um, and like I said, we don't need Game now. And that next game comes on Saturday at home to Solly Hull Moors, a side who really found decent form of late. They've scored three or four goals again tonight, and they've got a striker in Asante who, who uh, is going to give you guys quite a test on Saturday. I understand he's got a hat trick in the last two games, he's got another hat trick tonight. So uh, work's going to be cut out there for sure. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, oh, you want to play against good players and test yourself. Um, whatever, whatever love you play in that. Um, so I'm looking forward to the challenge. Uh, there's been a few good strikers played against so far this season. I look forward to hopefully keeping them quiet this Saturday. We hope so too. Thanks for joining us after a, a difficult match tonight, Callum. We really appreciate that. Um, have a good week and we'll see you Saturday. All right, cheers. Um, can I just get a word for Radio Royal? Yeah, yeah, yeah.